Watch how I take a fluid pour and change it completely. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Soraya. Now I've been doing fluid pours for many, many years and I love them. I love fluid pours, the color combinations, the technique is so much fun and you get a beautiful piece of abstract art. But I, did a, I decided um, two or three years ago that I would change it up just a little bit and take it one step further. And um, this is what I've done with this fluid pour. Keep watching to see exactly how I did it. Okay, so uh, that first one didn't go as I thought, but look at this one. I do love this one. This gold and light overall color is quite beautiful. I'm gonna let it dry. I'll let you know how long that takes. Um, but look, it is quite beautiful. Loving this. I might um, embellish it, I don't know. I'm gonna have to see when it dries what it looks like. But I love it and I think it, this is one that could be oriented uh, different ways. So I'll show you here in just one second. Okay, and here's the painting. It took four days to dry. I can't believe how long that took. Now I do think there's some very beautiful sections to this painting. I love the way the gold is coming through. Uh, but I think I'm going to uh, embellish it just a little bit more. Okay, so for anyone who is a little confused, um, I didn't have the fluid pour uh, video on this because I accidentally deleted it. Um, I was so upset when I did, and uh, the only thing I had left was that intro that you saw, saw after I had already blown it out, and then uh, the video subsequent to that. So... That happens sometimes and nothing I can do about it. So um, here I am starting with the embellishment. My intention on this when I started embellishing was to really add a little bit more color. Uh, it turned out that um, I changed up the whole painting uh, and I think for the better, let me know what you think. So I started off by adding some very light touches of the colors in a um, dispersed manner. You just want it to be uh, kind of evenly placed throughout the painting. Um, I wasn't quite sure where I wanted to go with the painting and sometimes, you know, just kind of uh, doing uh, painting, uh, it comes to you as you're painting. And this is exactly what happened to me this time. Um, I was just trying to add color, and the more I added, uh, the more it kind of told me where to go. And by telling me where to go, I meant uh, that um, it it gives me it gave me a direction of where uh, the painting would end up. Often the painting itself will give me direction and inspiration for the final result. Each time I use the A color, I always dip my brush into the uh, matte medium. I 
I've edited this down quite a bit, and uh, but I, I didn't speed it up uh, just very few times, just so that you could see exactly how I paint. This Payne's Grave from Pebio Studio is one of my favorites uh, when I want to have a darker color to give it depth and it works so well with the other colors. I usually never have a problem with it. I love creating fluid pores. They are just so much fun, but I also really love to embellish because it takes it one step further. If you're interested in joining my Facebook group, the link is in the description area. You'll also find so much information and links to my Amazon uh, shop where you can find my paints and my hair dryer, all kinds of things. For anyone that is interested, I do sell my paintings. Um, uh, this particular one is in a gallery right now. Uh, the link is in the description area. But I also sell prints of my work. And there's lots of uh, links in my description area again where you can buy prints of my work. If you've watched me paint before, you know that I love a lot of movement and that's what I'm trying to create here, as well as creating a focal point so that you have somewhere where your eye can focus on, where your attention goes to. Sometimes there's areas in a painting that are perfectly beautiful all on its own, uh, but because of the direction of where I was taking this painting, I had to change it up. And sometimes that is sad uh, because, you know, it looked beautiful to begin with, but uh, it works even better once I'm finished with it. So for someone who is just starting out, I know that is a hard thing to do. It's a bit scary to try to uh, cover something up when you know in your mind it looks quite beautiful just as it is. But don't be afraid to do it. Try it out. That's the only way you will learn. For those of you who don't know, I am completely self-taught and that is exactly how I learned. I just kept trying and uh, working it out each time, learning something new each time I tried something. The journey is more important than the destination and so learning these new techniques and uh, methods is important to get to that destination. I sing next. Sweet dreams till sunbeams find you. Sweet dreams that leave all worries behind you. But in your dreams, whatever they be, dream a little dream of me. Thanks for indulging me in my singing. It's something I do really love to do. Is there a song that you would love to hear me sing? 
let me know in the comments section. Whenever I put a bold color on a white background, I panic just a little bit, but the matte medium really does smooth it out and spreads it so beautifully. And here you can finally see the direction in which I'm going with this painting. Okay, here it is outside and I am loving it. It transformed completely. Something I really had not intended to do, but I do love it now. I think it was very beautiful to begin with as well, but the more I worked on it, the more this just became. It's one of those things. Sometimes that happens. Lots of beautiful details. Let me know what you think. Click on the link you see now to see more of my enhanced pores. Join my Facebook group called Soraya Silvestri Artist, Amazing Abstracts, Semi-Abstracts and Pores. The link is in the description area below.